Cal Woodward and Dan at the scene. Um, officer speaking with the reportee who is the best friend of Ms. Lewis that states she spoke with this defendant on the morning of the offense because he texted her to call him. He knows him by name and sight and by voice. Uh, the defendant uh, was told that she was going to have to raise uh, Darnella, who was their child, because he had killed Lewis and his boyfriend, John L. Uh, he knocked on the door, John L. answered. He said his mind went blank and he shot and killed them. I am not familiar with the status of Mr. Uh, complainant John L. Um, I see that he's got a prior assault family violence uh, involving Ms. Lewis. Um, referring to Mr. Mitchell. Yes, ma'am. And in, in that report, it references a prior incident report where she expressed fear uh, prior to that. Um, I, I would because I don't know if the other complainant's clear, I would ask that his bond be raised. Because um, it would be a capital offense. I was wondering why his father has murdered on capital uh, Yes, ma'am. Uh, and if there is information that he has uh, passed away, clearly we would we'd yes, ask for at least 100,000. Yes, ma'am. That's in line. Oh. Mr. Mitchell, that is the basis for the issuance of the warrant. With the prosecutor bill is set in the amount of $100,000. This case has been assigned to the 177th District Court for you going to see Judge Patrick. Are you going to hire a lawyer or ask to be considered for a court appointed lawyer? Hire? Yes, sir. Please see the bailiff. They didn't know because they didn't know the capital at the idea. 